So in this case study, we're going to take a look at an example of what issue may occur if you have incorrect DNS resolution in the environment. So in this example, we're trying to perform a migration of a vCenter server to a vCenter server appliance. And during the stage two deployment, we're getting this error in the UI saying that the pre-migration check result failed and we're not able to contact the migration assistant on port 9123. So that isn't giving us a huge amount of information, so we'll di dive into the log to get some more. But first, we'll just confirm that we have the correct FQDN and that the migration assistant is actually running. So on the source Windows vCenter server, using command prompt, we can confirm that the FQDN is correct. We can confirm that the migration assistant process is indeed listening on port 9123. So everything looks good from that end. Taking a look at the upgrade requirements.log on the vCenter server appliance, we can see messages that the migration assistant is not reachable at the particular address. So this could be happen for a couple of different reasons. For example, if port 9123 was blocked. But in this particular example, it's because of DNS resolution. So on the vCenter server appliance, if we try and do an NS lookup of our FQDN, we find that we're not able to actually do a, a, a proper NS lookup of the FQDN. If we do an NS lookup of the IP address, we're getting back a different FQDN. So we've got a, an incorrect DNS entry in our environment. So to resolve this issue, we would correct the DNS entry and then continue with the migration from the UI. So that concludes the, that particular case study of an issue that can occur if you've got incorrect DNS in an environment. I hope you enjoyed this video.